how to use medicines. Medicines are being divided into Nafasam, Vayavyam, Apyam, uh, Parthivam. Shabdas, Parsha, Rupa, Rasakata, Tanmartha, from there the world originated. It has got its own metaphysical and uh, epistemological concepts. On the basis of that, everything is being uh, elaborated. It has got a principle. It is not bizarre. Each patient is different, each person is different, that nobody can. No, I was looking at more from the teachability point of view. It is not teachability, it is very simple. Ayurvedic principles, a nursery child can understand. So simple, because it is truth. Wherever complexity comes, untruth is there. Truth must be as simple, as perceivable as light. Ayurveda has got that power that capacity. It is so illumined. No, no, no doubt about it. The principles of treating each individual depends on his condition. When one patient is having typhoid fever, other person is having typhoid fever, the causative organism is same. But the medicine at times develop an aphylactic reaction and patient dies. What is the explanation for that? It is idiosyncrasy. It is not idiosyncrasy. It is constitutional. That is not known to them. If we were using chloromycetin, we can differentiate that patient who is going to develop idiosyncrasy. Then which, is, which science is superior? The, all the modern gadgets what all things they are diagnosed, we can diagnose without any instrument, which is superior. We can show all these things in a clinical setting, not for magic or anything. In a clinical setting, we can show that these diagnostic tools are far, far superior. But how to gain experience in that, that uh, depends on skill of the patient to teach or the person to teach. There is guru. The way in which I, I, I was taught, I am not able to teach, that I admit. That is there. But gradually, by the grace of God, I may attain that state also. I don't, I am not uh, hopeless. I am hoping that one day we can also reach there. Now I am not. My guru might have taken two, three seconds to say all these things. I am struggling to uh, impart something to or uh, make you understand drive in you. My guru may not, might not have taken two seconds or two minutes, one or two sentences would be enough. That I am incapable, that is there. But uh, people having average intelligence, we can teach Ayurveda, uh, teach modern medicine without much difficulty because everything is verifiable, uh, very, very, very simple in a way. Typhoid fever, all over the world, treatment the same. Symptoms are, symptomatology also classified. What are the symptoms and signs? Cause, test, everything is known to everybody, same. But the difficulty is, if when it, it, it is applied in certain conditions, patient may die. Solution for that is not at the world. Here, that will not happen. Any medicine, any therapeutic procedure properly done, it will never create any problem in the patient. This modern medicine is the only system when during the process of investigation patient dies. For example, dye is injected, the patient may die, there are instances. Penicillin, when it, now penicillin is withdrawn, in my medical college days, penicillin was the only medicine, for only antibiotic, popularly used. I have seen patients dying, two cases where patient died instantaneously after giving test dose. This is going on. And many, many medicines used uh, the last decade is not used now. All <coughs> double blind study, statistical studies, uh, placebo studies, everything is done. Why? Then it must be universally acceptable. When you put into human practice for millions of people, things will change. They are compelled to withdraw the medicine.
popular foundations which are sold Himalaya or I am I am dead against that. They are actually destroying or they are contributing to the degeneration of Ayurveda. Ayurveda must be imparted to every human being, whoever is interested. All medicine medicines everybody can make. That is what we do. We give simple water extractions, extract for most of the patients. Very, very seldom we give pharmacy. Those who cannot make medicine alone will be given medicine. For example, there are people from abroad in US or in Europe. There is no possibility to make. And even if they take raw material or the ingredients, they cannot pound. When sound is heard, all of this will be agitating. They cannot do that. So we give medicine, prepared medicine. Otherwise, that also formulate for them. After giving water extract for some time, then we understand <coughs> this medicine, are, medicine is suitable for them. Then only we make. Once formulated, we cannot, we cannot change it later. It may require so much in, uh, expense. So we will uh, at first ascertain this formula is suitable for this patient. So for one year or two years, we can make in a bulk and it is being given. That medicine is for him. Ayurvedic principle is basically treating the patient and not the disease. And mention of the dis this nosology in Ayurveda is very, very minimal. About 120 or 130 diseases are named. So anything, for example, multiple sclerosis, it is not mentioned in, uh, in Ayurvedic text. But principles can be used anywhere in the world because desham is, the desham is considered. That is the geophysical conditions where the patient is put in. All the ten, ten factors are being used. None of them is one or two or three are, be, are considered in modern system. We have got ten aspects to be considered. Where are the geophysical conditions, the state of the mind, and the state of the personality, everything is being considered to prescribe. How the peach, how doc, Ayurveda doctors are practicing this. That is, I don't uh, say anything about I, I reserve myself. But these are the scientific things. So when you assess something, a science or a religion, we have to take the basic text. And somebody is doing something, for example, all terrorism. <coughs> terrorism, we cannot blame Muslims. Muslims, if you, are, you have to analyze, you take Quran as the text, not the what people are doing. That is their personal disposition. That cannot be attributed to the religion. In the same way, what all nonsense people are doing, Ayurveda physicians are uh, doing, that is none of our concern. Take that text, analyze. Yes. Pollution. For example, Ayurveda considers the whole environment as Bhumi Desha. And the body is considered Deha Desha. The interaction of Deha Desha with Bhumi Desha is the basic aspect which gives health or disease. So, environment influence of environment influence on human physiology is the prime consideration of Ayurveda from the very beginning. Understand? For example, 1700 tons of gaseous pollutants are being discharged in the atmosphere in Bombay alone. 
1,700 tons of gaseous pollutants, more than 4-3 million gallons of effluent water is being all to the sea and 80 percent are untreated and the sea becomes inefficient to handle carbon dioxide. So, deterioration of environment is quantified now, it is deadly. But, we, but Ayurveda has, a, has got a great role to play. Our system can be perfected in spite of the atmospheric pollution, Method, methods are there. It is not many, that is why I am telling multiple sclerosis is a condition where it is not uh, altogether all over India you have got only 25,000 patients, whereas several lakhs of patients are there in western countries. In spite of all these uh, investigations, they could not find any remedy for that, only rehabilitation. We succeed in treating and curing these diseases, you can see that uh, website. We have got centers in London, in Germany and US. Many patients are being treated. How can I be inferior to that? If that is so, they, they claim some superiority. Why? Their own disease they are failing to treat and cure. Why we are succeeding? We have got a universal approach to disease and universal approach for treatment. That principles are Siddhanta. As I am telling you, it cannot be further perfected. That is why Siddha Meva Andam it is Siddhanda. This is not the outcome of sensory observations. That is the modern modern world cannot understand. All these instruments, gadgets, everything aid our eye basically all electron microscope, like microscope, whatever it be, everything is based on our own indriyas, our sense organs, nothing else. Whereas, we clearly state the sense organs will cheat you at last, it will, it is not capable of understanding the truth. In Bhagavad Gita says, it is like the coids. So, what all derivations or understanding or whatever inventions based on sensory knowledge <coughs> will be erroneous in one way or other. That is why this is ever changing, whereas our observations are suprasensuous. This suprasensual knowledge cannot be equated with sensory knowledge. Because of the Macaulay education, we have no inkling to this great science and scientific approach. When you go to Yoga Shastras, the Ashtraishwarya Siddhi, we can go to other planets, these are not mythology, these are facts. Patanjali will never tell lie. If you go to, you, just to go through Yoga Sutras, you can understand what are the human possibilities. These are truths. But modern system, modern system or modern science or modern world cannot understand that. That does not mean it is, a, it is non-existent. This is a fact. Please. Uh, as you say, Ayurveda is much more effective, especially in chronic diseases as compared to allopathy or any other modern system. But I think it must be possible for Ayurvedic doctor to understand uh, what allopathic teachings are all about and in nitty gritty and then they can tell the world that in the entire area, allopathy area is covering this area in this way and whereas Ayurveda is covering in, in other areas and then probably interface can be created between Ayurveda and allopathy and clearly it can be told that for such cases a specialty exists there, for such cases a specialty exists there. So are there any effort in this direction? There must